Hey there, Scorpios. And welcome back for another Outside with Brown Eyes. Yeah. I came outside because nature was alive. Nature is alive and they're talking like them birds. They 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 got they got beef with each other. And you know I wanna see what's the tea, so they been quieting it down now, so <laughs> I guess I could look at it like where there's been confusion, there's about to be peace that's about to be replaced. Chaos is about to be replaced with peace. It's like after the storm, here comes the happiness where the storm is coming to an end. I say in grand rise to you, Scorpios. Thank you guys for joining me on the live the other evening. I really do appreciate you. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for the vibes. I love you. See, they got something to say, honey. So what am I picking up for you, Scorpios? Now, there will be an extended for this one because mm -hmm. let's, let's say that this is an extended from the live that we did the other night because it was a lot of telling energy in there that I had to keep it clean and we're going to get, <laughs> we're going to take it gutter <laughs> on Patreon, but you got to be a Patreon member to get that tea, all right? So there will be an extended for this reading. Shout out to you. Thank you for returning to this channel. If you are new, I am Brown Eyes here at Brown Eyes Intuitions. And over here, honey, it's all about the Scorpios. I said it's all about the Scorpios. So shout out to you, Scorpios. Y'all, it's a good time for love, isn't it, though? It's like love is so in the air. You guys are so amazing, Scorpio. That's how I get to know some of you guys is when I do your personal readings because when I tell you Scorpio is a whole vibe, Scorpio is a whole vibe. And it's the same energy. You're so full of love, but it's kind of misplaced or it's overgiven and it leaves you drained. So I feel like your message and your journey here is about balancing your emotions in your giving it shouldn't be an eye for an eye but I do understand that all relationships are not supposed to be romantic sometimes plutonic relationships can kind of try to take advantage of you too I just had the sense to go sweep that porch I guess I'm stay outside for a minute today it's not about you dimming your light so other people won't take advantage of it because your light is bright for a reason you can protect yourself and still shine bright too Scorpios because that's what you call healthy boundaries and see the sun was trying to come out that's why I was in the house I thought it was going to rain and then yesterday when I made that video and I said oh it's going to rain y'all it never did rain it didn't even rain and I ran in the house man don't forget to follow me on TikTok. It's magical. It's a magical time. Things that you think can't happen is happening. Things that you think you can't have, you're going to get it. But yeah, y'all, we had we had the masculines in that live. That that's what we need. I'm gonna have to have some. Now I had I had a um, a great idea presented to me by one of my members and my followers, my subscribers, about having a love show. Now I do it on Streamyard, <clears throat> and we can have a love vibe session. But I'm gonna need my Scorpio men to tap in now. I don't need y'all to be scared, especially you, Doctor Love. You be flexing in that comment section, huh? But well, let's see what you do when we start having these shows. <laughs> I'm gonna need a man's perspective here, and I and, and I, I need you, Doctor Love, and I'm gonna need Rob. Y'all gonna have to come up, and y'all gonna have to talk, and let's see y'all gonna keep that same energy. All right, I'm gonna start working on that because that would be very very fun, wouldn't it? This sounds exciting. Yes, yes, let's do that. But we want to keep it balanced because we know the women, we support love because we love. We always looking for advice. We always looking for new developments that can, that can help us enhance that. 
but the men, y'all just sit behind the, uh, unless you are a feminine man. Now, feminine man, yeah, but I'm talking about a masculine man. It's like they, they do it behind the scenes here. So, like I said, Dr. Love and Rob, keep that same energy. And, and, and let's see what that mouth like, okay? <laughs> My bad. Let's see what that brain like. Let's see what the dome like, okay? Let's see what the knowledge come in, okay? So, let's see, Scorpios. This is a general sweet temper because I'm doing this on a Tuesday. This other day you on my other channel you'll be you be doing your hot tea. So like I said that live was telling here because we was going there. We was going there <laughs> because that's a Scorpio. And you know you know what be tripping me out is how some people try to act like they're so reserved and like you're just too much but they, they bored and they ain't living their life. I feel like there's no nothing that's off limits within within limitations here within certain things. It's about self discovery after all, isn't it? Luminosity. This is your true love oracle. Resolving conflicts. It's like whatever you and your person decide to do as long as it's not Invading other people's space. That's what you and your person can do. But there's, like I said on that live, y'all, y'all got a lot of interesting energy coming in. You remember you said you saw the rec uh, reconciliation? That reconciliation is somebody coming back around. You got resolve and conflict. The rainbow reviver. Love. See? So let's see. I didn't go to work out today because I, I call myself going to sleep in. <laughs> but then I started getting inspired. I always have these bright ideas, but that's one of the things I'm going to start working on because everybody else doing it. What better people to do it than Scorpios? You know, we represent love now. God dang. So yeah. It says, when a woman glows from within, she naturally attracts a sh chivalrous male. See? Ooh, that's the divine feminine energy, Scorpio. See? Ooh. It says, when you are connected to your divine feminine, you become luminous. Your true nature shines from within and you glow. The luminous woman is the feminine counterpart to the chivalrous Rus, chivalrous rus male they are attracted to one another complement support and nurture each other in this modern age it can be quite difficult for a woman to find her luminous centra and live from that place because we have fallen into the trap of b believing we are supposed to have be and do it all all of the time what this usually means is that the woman takes too much upon herself and tries to fill the roles of the men in her life instead of asking for their help. Being luminous requires poise. It is worth the extra effort for of patience at first if that is required. Usually what is most effective is an adjustment of perspective. A luminous woman asks for what she needs with respect for the other person's time and feelings, then goes about her day confident that her requests will be responded to. See? Ooh. Spirit trying to tell you how to get what you want. Spirit trying to help. See? What Spirit is saying is, what you can get a whole lot of bees with honey than you can with vinegar. Sometimes you have to humble yourself and submit. And look, I'm saying the word. Yeah, I said it. Because the men got to do it too. But we're talking about the women because it says divine feminine. So it's almost like your, your, your femininity is already divine. So use that. Don't use it against them. Use it so that it works for everybody. It's almost like, hey, um, can, can, can you do this for me? You know, I hate to bother you. You know, I know you're busy and everything, but, you know, could you do this for me? And they say, yeah, <laughs> anything else. <laughs> you're like, no, that's it. I really, really do appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. You are an angel. You're my hero. You got to talk telling you woof you gotta act like that divine feminine oh i can't do that oh you're so strong <laughs> oh you're
you're so strong. You're so wise. Wow. Wow, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. I don't, I mean, is there anything I can do for you? Would you like dinner? I mean, I could. I mean, that's the least I can do. I don't mind. <laughs> you got to do something like that. <laughs> Spirit say, use what you got. But use it from a spiritual, mature perspective. Because divine means that you're not going to use it against them. You're going to use it so that everybody can benefit from this loving, nurturing energy. Because the divine feminine is a loving, nurturing goddess. Okay? And a love goddess can just look at you and change your whole world. Because she has it in her. But she could also look at you. <laughs> And have you come crumbling down. Alright, so use what's going to work for everybody, Scorpio. That's what Spirit is telling you. <laughs> oh, Scorpios. It says, you have drawn this card today. Because the luminous woman in you is calling out for attention. Urging you to be graceful and to incorporate some luminous energy into your busy day. Choose one small thing that you can imbue with your lumin luminosity today. Put your request out there and give thanks for it being done. For men, this means that the feminine energy is working within and through you in positive ways. And so you men, y'all finna open up. Y'all finna be broke down emotionally because somebody about to love you. Uh-huh. And while y'all walking around here trying to act all macho and all hard and things, spirit know how to get you, huh? Spirit gonna get you the right, <laughs> the right way. It says, feel the ways you can become more connected to your heart and able to express your feelings more clearly. See? All come down. Ooh, you make my love come down. Yeah. Somebody love about to come down. After all of that tough and all, after all of that superwoman, superman crap. <laughs> Evelyn Champagne King, y'all. B.B. King's daughter. Y'all remember B.B. King? That's his daughter. Evelyn Champagne King, honey. Man. Baby, you make my love. See, that's some real a grown woman A-ish that's being sung. Baby, you make my love come down. Ooh, ooh somebody tell me that. <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. If somebody say, God dang, brown eyes, you make my love come down. Ooh. I'm going to think I'm that chick, okay? So y'all may have somebody thinking that, God dang, Scorpio, make my love come down. <laughs> I didn't want it to come down. <laughs> I was trying so hard to keep it from coming down. But I must admit, my love has officially come down for Scorpio. They got you to, they got you to thank for that, Scorpio. Shout out to y'all. Look, I'm still offering my fall specials, by the way, where you can get two questions answered for $10 via email or a 30-minute reading for $30. If you're interested, check out my description box below so you can email me. It is a fall special. We're also in Libra season, and they do have a beautiful Libra pack, but this is a Scorpio pack. If you want to get you a beautiful, if you want to flick your wrist, because it's almost this season, Scorpio, you might as well, you all, you might as well be uh, jeweled down and connected with nature, and use my twenty percent off discount, Brown Eyes Twenty. Uh huh. It's in the description box below. So let's see for Scorpios in this luminosity, luminosity. Scorpios got that luminosity. Yeah. 
the cherries ace of pentacles for the scorpio there's the five of wands although but there is six of cups god dang it when i tell you outside be silent for brown eyes boo because there go that luminosity with the empress, yeah. Luminosity, the moon got them wild, honey. See that luminosity? They say, yeah, 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 right, luminosity. <laughs> Give me a hug. Ooh, what's that conflict about? Was y'all been arguing? Six of wands. Knight of Pentacles. You got the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords in the reverse. Followed by the Ace of Cups. Boo. The Hangman in the reverse. A change of perspective here. See, because somebody's coming out of confusion. Coming out of, see? Because there was a lot of uh, uh, confusion here. Look, look at that Empress here. Somebody's changing their focus. Could be you. Could be you feeling this in control um, type of energy where you know who you are and you're tapping into it. Like we know the Empress, she's she's a goddess. I mean, she's not even from here. Somebody's coming in with an offer. And they're extremely passionate about that empress. Now this could be a fertile time. Because we're in the femininity energy now. <laughs> some of y'all got a youngster that's going to put something on your mind, okay? <laughs> a wink, wink, okay? It's, it's pulling over. I'm getting it. Could be a Cancer. Could be a Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Chariot, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Empress, dang, that's the only air and that's the only one you need, that's the, ain't that, man, you notice how this moon, how them, them uh, nuts is falling out the tree, because this is fall, y'all. Love, life is such an amazing, magical thing. I noticed this moon is above this empress. But it's a different type of moon. It's a magical moon. Look how this moon is em embracing her. So, be, look, I ain't going to say be careful. I'm just going to tell you around this moon energy, you're going to be very, very fertile. <laughs> so, I feel like whatever you think say or do you're going to produce something something's coming out of it a life something you're giving way to life to something whatever the seeds you're going to plant around this time but you're very very fertile your thoughts are fertile your actions are fertile your words are fertile and with this knight of wands coming in <laughs> Oh, somebody gonna mess around and have a love child. Pardon me, y'all. It's so amazing to me how it's outside. It just be so noisy and so many things saying this and flying and doing this and then it just goes completely quiet. That's amazing to me. It just shows that it's such a magical time. It's always magical. Somebody may be having mixed emotions and they don't understand. 
somebody's being affected spiritually by you and this connection because that's what the Empress brings. The Empress in this energy is coming off as somebody here who somebody wants to take care of you. I'm getting, <laughs> it could be a younger person, y'all could be dealing with a younger person here who is passionate about you, but they're not like that about everybody else. You would come off as thinking that they're like that, but little do you know, they're just into you like that. <laughs> when I say into you, <laughs> yeah. This fall vibes is bringing out the passion in people. Where just the typical relationships and connections are no longer useful. They need substance to it. They need something of value. And this is what this empress brings. Substance and value here. So like I said, somebody's focus and uh, perception is totally shifting about you. Okay, so let's see. The Scorpios. Don't forget to join the membership. I'm still. Let me see my late my newest our newest member is Tess Jackson. I am doing draw drawings, free 30 minute readings for my members. All you have to do is be a member. And your name will go in the pool or in the box. Also join me on Patreon if you want to get that juicy tea, unfiltered. Because when I talk about things like that, it don't mean that I'm nasty. It's just that I'm realistic. Like I was saying, I, I just, I be tripping off of people trying to act so conservative and so, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're feeling like that and it ain't no shade to nobody, then you, you still need to discover yourself. Do you even know what you really like? Sometimes you have to explore. You have to go outside the box. For certain things now only you know what that is now and at the same time don't let nobody um compromise your integrity because we're you freaking empress here and spirit is telling you how powerful your energy is and it ain't to be taken for granted or lightly and that means for anybody dealing with you and you yourself you better recognize who the f you really is all right so let's see for my Scorpios, they got that good, good love. For my Scorpios, they keep them coming back like a Cadillac on flat. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Oh, they didn't know that you was going to get them stuck. You got them changing their position and everything. So let's see. I'm curious about the five of ones. Why is the five of ones here for Scorpios? And this luminosity, divine feminine energy. Why is the five of wands here for Scorpios? It represents competition, conflict, arguing, fussing, and fighting. Eight of wands. Ooh. I feel like you guys may have had an argument with this person. Or this person knows that you don't trust them. This person could be dealing with inner conflict. Look at all them swords. Look, the five of swords. There it is. So I feel like what spirit is saying is, and this is however it resonates, whether you the masculine or the feminine, you know that this is a Scorpio. Look at those leaves blowing off the tree. Yes, come on, fall. We welcome you, fall. And all the abundance with it. Those butterflies. See the wind is blowing. Ha! Huh. See? <laughs> See? This is them. Look at them. King of Swords in the reverse. Look at all them swords. I feel like somebody wants to talk to you, but they're trying. They're, they're <laughs> somebody feels like they want to talk to you. Somebody needs to talk to you about some lies maybe that they told you. Look, there go the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. I feel like somebody's having inner conflict because they're drawn to that luminosity energy. And they've been trying to act like they don't care and they're unfazed. But Scorpio has already did Scorpio business, though. It's too late, partner. You've already been zapped by the Scorpio's thing, honey. And Scorpio probably didn't even have to do it physically. See, then I tell you, 
Somebody learning the hard way of how to treat a Scorpio. They go to teach you. They're learning. This is a learning seed. There it is. See? Alright, now what's up with the chariot? Now you could have moved on confidently. Could be this person trying to move away. But I feel like somebody coming in because you got that Ace of Pentacles right there. That's it. Is. That's what it is. Somebody want to offer you something, but they are so ashamed of all the crap that they put you through. Ooh. The squirrel. Way up there. Look at it. Wow. I can't see that there. They probably want some more carry. They probably ate them carry. Like, no. <laughs> We don't want to see you. See? This is somebody here who has inner conflict because they want to talk to you. But somebody's ha somebody's having a dark shadow of the soul, though. This is to teach them. See? The chariot. Because they know they want you. I want you. And I want you to want me to. Page of swords. See that? For some of y'all, they go, my stalker card. They passing by your house. There it is. See? Look at them passing by your house. Somebody's scared to reach out and talk to you. So what they doing is they stalking you and pass the blood. Mm-mm. There it is. We outside. They go that outside energy. See, they don't want you to know this because you ain't talking to them. Somebody passing by your house, child, and they manifesting you. Look, they trying to get in that house. <laughs> they trying to get in somebody passing by your house, child, because they feeling that luminosity. The luminosity is calling them. It reminds me of, what was it? New Jack City. When Chris Rock said, it's calling me. It's just calling me. I just try to be, it's just calling me. It's calling me. The luminosity is just calling them. But this time around, somebody's being compelled to come offer you something worthy of an empress attention. Okay? Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, though? Ooh, I see the dark cloud. Rain, rain, go away. Come back again another day. Rain, rain, go away. Come back again another day. Rain, rain, go away. Come back again another day. Cause I'm outside now. See, justice. And I don't want to get drowned out with the rain. So rain, rain, go away. Let me hurry up because it ain't going. I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to go. Feeling something. Could be a Libra see the hangman. Somebody trying to bring balance back in the situation because y'all ain't doing nothing. That's why you got the ace of wands. Then I tell you, somebody's having a change of perspective, a change of heart. Let's say a change of heart change of mind. So they're looking at you the right way. See? Eight of cups in the reverse. Ever since you walked away, they ain't been able to sleep right. See? If they got you on the dome, on the brain, okay? It's like an obsession. Six of cups, see? That Scorpio ain't no joke, though, see? Six of cups, see? They're in love. Look, the king of cups, boo, see? See? Seven of cups, Six of Pentacles. See, this is what they're feeling bad about. But I could look back to somebody saying they choose you. They're going to make you a priority now. See, Six of Pentacles. Because they in love. They're going to do the right thing. They're going to manifest you the right way by putting in their work because you deserve it. What's up with this Empress? And the rain, rain, go away. Come on. Oh, shit. of pentacles they scared they want to though should i should not should i should not i want things to be equal between us see three of swords somebody know that they hurt you or they cause damage they're at fault you got all them swords seven and the five of swords with the king of swords in the red oh yeah they was a mess they showed you the ugly side of them you didn't deserve that you're a freaking empress see now there they go the knight of cups 
coming in to offer you love and commitment. Rain, rain, go away. Two of Wands, because they couldn't make up their mind. But now they're not able to move on away from you. Or maybe they wasn't able to move on away from somebody else. Because they go to Queen of Wands. Or maybe they can't move on from you because of the desire and fire they feel. Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Scorpios? Clarify the Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands, she came up, back up. See, ooh, they miss you. Nine of Cups, I bet. Tell you, they passing by your house. They ain't sleeping. Hey, what else are they going to do? It ain't the same. See? Three of Cups. They miss how y'all used to hang out, how y'all used to kick it. They miss all their femininity now. See? Six of Wands. Somebody want that old thing back. They want it back. See, six of wands, I tell you, they passing by your house, child. When I tell you, they passing by, see? Because they done lost their goddamn mind. Rain, rain, go away. Come back again another day. Rain, rain, go away. Death, come back again, see? And the same reason, the night of wands in the reverse, see? Knight of Pentacles, see there? And they still wired up. They're like, yeah, I know I, I know you mad at me because I, I like you like that, but I mean, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Y'all done made this, y'all done turned this person out. And they can't even see nothing, see? Here they come, they go to Queen of Cups, see? Y'all was in love with this person. And they go that Five of Wands, but y'all ain't, y'all into it right now. Five of Wands. Because we started out with the Five of Wands with the King of Swords. This person having inner conflict, see? About should they offer you something or should they remain single? But their life is in balance. You brought balance. Somebody, somebody, I feel like somebody felt like it was too intense. Ooh, but they go to Emperor. Ooh. And there goes the world, see? Some type of change is being made. Look what told you. They sad now. Because they miss you. Ace of Cups. They missed the outpour of the Scorpio's oasis. See, the ancestors telling you, see, and they go to King of Wands. Then I tell you, they trying to take control, see, and come get you to a cup, see. And there go the chariot because this person is still holding on to you. But some of y'all holding back, and they go to Queen of Swords. That's why they passing by your house at night. It's been the rain. Y'all please like, share, and subscribe.